Trap Red with another Trap Red YouTube kind of Punk Floyd video. That's gonna be the new name of my band. My new band of me, myself, and I. We're gonna start a band. The unholy trinity of me, myself, and I uh, decided today after conferencing, calling with each other, you know, like, hello, Ed? Yeah, Mike, what's up? How you doing? What's up, RF? You know, and then it was like we decided, the three of us, that we we're gonna form a band called Punk Floyd. It's all good. <laughs> so, I got up at four this morning and I started to work, but I didn't know what I was gonna do, and I ended up picking up where I left off with this gizmo, the box, the new box, the New York legal uh, trap box. This is five by five. These are one, this is one inch. The materials, one inch, one inch square, three, one, two, three, four, five, see, five by five. It's a five by five opening, which is sufficient to catch muskrat and mink and weasel and probably skunks and uh, maybe even uh, small possums or baby raccoons. Uh, this is 16 gauge it looks like 16 gauge to me but apparently people on the internet have been passing 14 i mean 16 gauge off is 14 i don't know this is strong look look i don't want to crush it but look but, you know i'm i'm not putting my whole weight on it but i'm pushing on it it's fairly sturdy it's lightweight it's 16 gauge Anyways, this is the trigger mechanism. Hope you can see it better. Let me see. Look. See how I did the trigger? This, this is how I'm doing them. This is just, you know, the little fold overs to pr produce a, you know, a mating kind of, uh, you know, thing right here. So that the, the gate, the gate, which is basically dogless, you know. Because this is like what would be the dog. So this would be the pan, if you will. But it's a swing gate. So the animal sw swims through here. And you put bait down here. See my fingers? Where are my fingers? This little bait container for like carrots and apples and stuff like this. So you just stuff your bait in there. And then it's <clears throat> made to operate, actually. Because these doors are supposed to be spring-loaded. But I don't have the springs yet. They're just going to be um, 90 or 180 degree torsion springs. I haven't decided what. They don't have to be too strong. They just have to swing these doors open. They don't have to be strong at all. I actually had some that would have worked, but I sold them. So now I got to get some more. <laughs> I mean, funny how that works, isn't it? <laughs> Anyways, I also want you to see this trigger mechanism. <sighs> I can contrast it properly you can see it better see see how it's L shaped and it goes along here and I just have it I have it wrapped with some uh, insulated tie wire because I didn't have any J clips I ran out of them I don't I haven't been building traps lately because of a postage problem so anyways that you see how the triggers wired it's a it's a double trigger single throw mechanism so here's here's one latch in door here's the second latch in door and it's so it's a simultaneously firing multi-directional multi-trigger swing gate so it can go either this direction here and fire or this direction here and fire so it can catch them either through either opening this is see how it's catching here that's not correct that's a little rough but this is just a prototype. I, if I was this for sale, I would have to trim that and make sure there's no rough edges so that it's perfectly smooth. You want it burnished even so it's smooth and nice and slick. <clears throat> and you want it to not be freezing so you probably spread it out a little bit so that the contact points come down to like a single, a single point, you know, somewhere up here, you know, so it just fires real quick. Maybe squeeze it in, you know, squeeze it tighter. So it's just a single point. It's less friction that way. 
right now I have it double because I thought well you could actually put you know the lure tractor right in here you know this is a perfect place to put your lure you put like a, a, a strip like a cotton strip you could even use q-tip or um, you can use a piece of bait for that matter you know cheap wool something and that's what I made a little curvature for this for for the lure anyways the way this works when the springs are installed they're installed down here and there should be two of them, one here and one here. So there's four all together. And then it can operate like this, which is the preferred method, because if the animal swims in and it fires, when it fires the trigger, this door lifts up and pushes it in even further. So this is preferred, and this way you can float the trap. You can float it on top of the water with uh, <clears throat> noodles on either side a noodling cable system which I'll add to it to show you later how that looks I'll make it amphibious and variable so you can adjust it so it will have all those features a detachable two detachable pontoons for floating and then if you don't want to float you just take those off and you can submerge the trap and it acts as a single catch multi-trigger bi-directional um, baitable New York State legal um, muskrat trap. It's not a colony trap. It's a single catch. Watch. Okay, see? Because it's not spring loaded, it didn't fire uh, fast. But, anyways, let's pretend it did. Let's pretend it fired ultra fast because it will once it's spring loaded. And these doors will pop out like this. Now, there needs to be a keeper right here. See how this is too short? and this is the same length so technically I could make it right here or this has to be a little longer so they engage properly really what you need is a positive stop one here exactly at this point you need a stop bar or what they call a strike bar through here or just a rod you know that's wired here so it stops positive stops right here same thing right here to complete it right here up near the top it doesn't have to be down at the bottom of the square kind of wired up to the top so it's a strike <clears throat> bar and then and then the door will stop properly so anyways that's how it looks completed and um like i said it just gotta that's what i've been doing today working on this project this is my new york state legal uh bi-directional multi uh bi-directional two directions uh swing gate multi-trigger because it fires both at the same time and the other unique feature about it is when it's spring loaded right here the springs will go right in here one on either side and the bar stop bar holds the door up there then when the animal pushes against the door you see it can't lift it up it can't nose its nose underneath there and it will only catch one at a time and so it will meet the department of Ec Ec environmental conservation the new york state department of environmental conference uh, conservation it will meet their requirements so it will only catch one muskrat at a time and that's another reason probably why you want to use the bait now that's not to say two can't enter <laughs> at the same time coincidentally and you're going to end up with a double but it's not intended and designed to do that it's just a, a bi-directional uh, trap there's uh, if two came up at the same time that would just be a ma an act of thought a matter of coincidence uh, to suggest that you have to use a single opening trap to catch a single animal is uh, ludicrous. I think they would agree upon that. So, but you never know. <laughs> I've been in strange situations with fishing game before over equipment and equipment violations and check laws and so on and so forth. But this is a best effort at coming up with a very feasible. New York State legal 
uh, muskrat, single muskrat catch trap. Because once these strike bars are in place, you see, and a single muskrat goes in and triggers it, there's the other muskrats can't get in because um, this will be spring loaded, so it will be pushing out. And even if the muskrat pushes in, <laughs> it can't push in against this door right here because it's a double door. So the double door prevents any additional muskrats from coming in. So, you know, in my humble opinion, this fulfills all the requirements of that. And here's the other thing. If they preclude muskrats from multiple catches in cage traps, how come they don't preclude multiple catches of beavers in cage traps? That's in in interesting. But this box could be enlarged with heavier gauge wires, say a 14 gauge, one by one, or even 12 gauge, uh, two by two. 12 gauge two by two would be a nice choice for beaver trapping, uh, or a one by two, something like this. And uh, it would make a heavy duty trap. You wouldn't need a frame and you could catch beaver all day long in a box like that of course the dimensions would have to be like jim comstocks this dimension oh by the way is five by five 